Hello everyone, this is Cobalt. Over the past few years, I've developed a growing level of anxiety. Not an uncommon thing these days, I know, and that's gradually increased as my responsibilities have gone up, which is just part of being an adult. But one of the best things that I've found that helps me to alleviate some of that anxiety is a peaceful and relaxing game. That's not the only thing I do to ease anxiety, but it definitely helps. So, I wanted to give whoever needs one a brief list of games that I think that are really good with helping out with relieving some of your potential stress. The first one that I'm going to start with is my original decompression game, Journey. I played this game when I was in high school, and anytime I needed a reprieve from the daily routine or to decompress, I would play this game. And I did this as well in college, and even now I'll play it occasionally to unwind. It's a magnificent title that centers around moving forward through a stunningly beautiful landscape and experiencing the crumbling ruins of a forgotten civilization. Your one goal? To get to the mountain. There's an excellent symphonic soundtrack accompanying the gameplay as well that really wraps up the experience as a whole quite nicely. There isn't a failure state in this game, so no matter what you do, you can't lose, and it truly creates a magically serene experience, ending on a stunning visual high note that gives the player a nice warm feeling in your heart as the game comes to a close. The artwork, gameplay, and soundtrack all lean into a peaceful and encapsulating experience that is able to elicit more emotion than I ever expected it to. I highly recommend it, and it's one of my favorite indie titles of all time. Journey is available on PS3, PS4, and PC for $14.99. The next game happens to be the sequel, or spiritual sequel to Journey. It's called Abzu, and is comparable to Journey in a lot of ways, but instead of trudging through the desert towards a mountain, you're taking a deep dive into the ocean. I frankly enjoy Journey more than I do Abzu, but this game is still incredibly good. As a diver myself, I really enjoyed the gameplay, and the way that Abzu makes you feel and move feels pretty close to how it feels to dive in real life. It's an incredibly serene experience that really embraces the tranquil beauty of the ocean, as well as its more terrifying elements. But as a whole, this game displays just as much heart and genuine soul as Journey did, and it's still one of my favorite indie titles to this day. I think it truly evokes how it feels to be in the ocean, and is a special experience to behold. It takes what Journey did well, applies it in a different way, and brings out a comparable result. Abzu is available on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch for $19.99. Ah, Night in the Woods. In Night in the Woods, you play as a small female cat who has just returned home from college. You go around various sections of a small American town called Possum Springs and spend time with friends and slowly learn more about an underlying mystery surrounding the town. Night in the Woods is a 2D side-scroller, focusing on character interactions and story progression over execution-based gameplay. Your interaction is with the characters, as opposed to the environment. This game confronts some serious mental health concerns alongside the struggles of coming of age, and tackles them through some genuine character development and brilliant writing that conveys the importance of good friends and relying on them to help you through the hard times in your life. Some of the character interactions were absolutely heartbreaking to go through, and I really genuinely felt for them. Some excellent writing on display in this game. This is all layered together with a charming visual aesthetic and an excellent soundtrack. It captures the small town American vibe rather nicely, and gives a really well-rounded, relaxing experience. Some moments of genuine pain and development for the characters, and a pretty good mystery that builds tension right up until the end. It's an incredibly well-written game, and I can't recommend it enough. Night in the Woods is available on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC for $19.99. The next game on our list is A Short Hike. This game, in a word, is charming. You're a young bird going to visit her aunt at a summer camp, and your goal is simply to hike to the top of a local hill, which is rumored to have a breathtaking view. It's not so much a hike, though, as a brisk flight. You can only fly a certain amount at the beginning, and you increase your flight time by collecting golden feathers. You get these in a variety of ways. One of the best things about this game, however, is the atmosphere. The freedom of exploring this small summer camp is incredibly fun. Flying around the camp is incredibly liberating, and engaging with the other characters in the game brings out some witty dialogue and fun minigames. If you play just to reach the end, you can beat this game in about 30 minutes, but if you want to immerse yourself in the camp, you can spend a long time exploring every nook and cranny of it. Once you do get to the top, I'll say this, the view is well worth it. It's got some excellent gameplay, impressive aesthetics given the graphical choice, witty dialogue, and is overall just a fun time, and I highly recommend it. A Short Hike is available on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch for $7.99. Now for a game whose gameplay definitely will be relaxing, but whose slow-burning story and mystery will keep you engaged the whole way through. I'm talking about Firewatch. 
In Firewatch, you play as a brand new Firewatcher who comes out into the wilderness to get away from the world and unpack some baggage he's been dealing with. The forest is an escape for him, and you learn more about his past as the game goes on. Over the course of the game, he bonds with another Watcher, and he begins finding some mysterious stuff happening in the woods. The art style, atmosphere, and score really bring some amazing emotions to the surface. It focuses a lot on building a relationship with another person, and has a deep foreboding sense of mystery that does a good job of creating tension. The gameplay for this game is the most relaxing portion of it, and it allows you to truly embrace the wilderness, get lost in it, and just explore. The story pulled me in a lot, focusing on the conspiracy mystery for most of its runtime. The game ends on a tone of melancholy, and while it's not quite the satisfying conclusion that I would have wanted, I've grown to love it for what it is and the more times I've played through it. Give it a playthrough if you want some wilderness exploration. Firewatch is available on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch for $19.99. Alright, Orbiter is next. This is one of the older games on this list, and is almost more of a physics engine than a true video game like some of the others I've discussed. However, of all the games on this list, this one and Journey have probably my two favorite soundtracks. In this game, you control a small spaceship orbiting around a vast array of different satellites. You can build speed by orbiting close to the core of the satellites and jettison out into space, and accompanied by this magnificent soundtrack, man does it make you feel a splendid experience and creates an upbeat and engaging atmosphere. It just makes you feel good. This is a short little title, but it's been like 10 years almost since I played this, and I still go back and listen to the soundtrack every once in a while. Orbiter is available on PC for $14.99. And lastly is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Animal Crossing blew up in 2020 when it came out. During quarantine, this was my go-to game, and I spent hundreds of hours catching bugs, fishing, crafting, reconstructing my island, and so much more. You can visit friends here, share items, and interact with one another. It's a wonderful game, and it's incredibly relaxing. It's a great way to pass time and create goals to work towards. I found it very cozy, and it's so low maintenance that you can do it while there are other things or other people around and still find enjoyment out of it. There are seasonal variations, holidays, and special things that you can do year-round. The game had a lot of development within its first year, and while development has waned for it over the past year or so, I still find myself occasionally wanting to return to my island and get sucked into this relaxing gameplay loop of picking weeds, my fruit trees, picking up stuff on the beach, and generally just maintaining the island. It's a really great game and definitely helped me to relieve some of the undue stress for quite a while. Animal Crossing New Horizons is available on Nintendo Switch for $59.99. Now for some honorable mentions. Hollow Knight and Celeste. These two games are ones that not very many people would consider to be beneficial for relieving anxiety. This is mostly because they're incredibly challenging, and they're known for this. However, I don't think that those two things have to be mutually exclusive. They're both hard games for sure and ones that will take time and maybe a bit of frustration to beat. However, they each have elements that brought me a sense of peace at points that I haven't experienced very often from other games. This is a very niche type of relief, felt by overcoming a challenge and seeing some truly exceptional character moments out of it. There's a specific moment in Hollow Knight where you have the ability to take a reprieve from your travels and sit at a lake and have a nice sincere moment with another character. And these little experiences, these little vignettes, absolutely make the game more memorable for me. In Celeste, you have really great levels of friendship building, personal development, forgiveness, overcoming personal mental struggles, and just plain good writing. These all come in between sometimes grueling sections of platforming that make them taste all the sweeter. These games have a lot of challenge, but also a lot of heart. A vast amount of character growth and environmental storytelling, too. Not to mention that they're both great for exploration and are really beautiful visually. Hollow Knight is available for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch for $14.99. Celeste is available for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch for $19.99. I hope that some of these games are able to help anyone that needs it. They're excellent titles in my humble opinion, and ones that have really helped to give me some reprieve from the struggles of life. Video games are a brilliant medium, and can really bring out some great things. Hope everyone watching this is doing well. Once again, I'm Cobalt, and thanks for watching.